Hello. Hello. You know what, mate? How's it going? Uh, not bad. Yourself? Yeah, not too bad. A bit knackered. Um, but there you go. Have you? Did you? Um, did you download the Dead or Alive th- thing yet? Yeah, yeah. I downloaded the uh, the core edition. Yeah, the one that's like it's four quid at the moment on Xbox One. Why is it four quid? I thought it was supposed to be free. I don't know, but it's apparently even been discounted from eight quid, so I don't know what that's about. I'm so weird. I swear, I swear it was supposed to be for. Did what? What has it got on it? Has it got the? How many it's characters got, has it got to play with to start? I think it's only got about five, maybe about four or five characters, mm-hmm. and um, but each one does have a quite a good array of costumes, which is nice. Yeah, and it carries over your like mine automatically just carried over the DLC that I got from the yeah from the original one. Weird. Yeah. Um, There's no story mode though, just uh, but it does seem to have online, so we should get on that later. Yeah, we should probably play that in a bit. Um, so you've you've been playing Dark Souls then? Yeah, yeah, I started it because it was. Um, <laughs> you sound <it> angry. Was... <laughs> I'm a bit angry actually, as it goes. Um, Why? Well, I don't know. I'll explain. I mean, it was three pounds seventy four. I think it was off Xbox Live, and I thought it's worth a go at that price. I think that's and... what I paid for it like last year. Yeah. I say it is a well good price. To be fair, no, that's insane. I put like I've put about seventy hours into it. Yeah. Well, if it's so anyway, three pounds. I've got some. I've got some questions. Um, <laughs> Go on. Okay. First of all, can I just where give you, some mob- Just um, where are you up to? I, I well, not very far. Is and this is why I want help already. Um. Okay. Can I just make some observations about it to begin with? <laughs> Do what you want, mate. Okay. Okay. It looks terrible, Dave. Like uh, visually, yeah, it don't look great. It, it looks it looks really bad, like it, visually. It, it specifically looks bad at the start. There, there are moments in it where where it just looks stunning. So mm-hmm. I'm waiting for them. Cause yeah, it's, you'll it's wait been... for a while. I mean, you'll wait for a long while. Um, it's and also there's times where it even looks worse than it does now. Trust. I don't know if it's maybe just an Xbox thing or whether it was the same on PS3, but it's like it's really jerky as well. Yeah, frame rate's gash. Yeah, that's, that's I said this. Good. A lot of people just like fucking like ignore that. Oh, Dark Souls. Yeah, it's got yeah. problems. <laughs> yeah, I, th- also, I kind of, I kind of wish on. I had a, like a really decent PC to try it because there's the PC version. You can mod all the textures and sort the frame rate out and everything's meant to be really good. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, I've walked out of the dungeon like quite a bit, <laughs> yeah. and I got to the first fire. And then I did the thing where you walk up the stairs and then obviously uh, a ball comes flying down and you get knocked backwards. And then, you know, it smashes the wall and you go through and you talk to that guy. Yeah. It's also... Oh, yeah, what what did you choose as your character type? I can't even remember. It doesn't matter. You don't... You, okay. It really doesn't make a difference. Well, what see, did you choose? Well, you see, I was... Well, I chose Knight as, as my character. But then that was... It was funny because on the character select screen, it really looked like Daggerfall, which was like a game... I've no idea like, what that on, is. That was... It was, you know, like Elder Scrolls, like Skyrim and all that. Oh, yeah. Daggerfall was like the 486 version of that. And that's... That was when I first switched... When I first switched it on and I saw that, I was like, oh, okay, this looks old. And mm. um, yeah, it was... That was like that. But anyway, so... No interest in those games? No, well, I don't know. I don't know why you got interest in this, in that case, but... I, just, you know, I, think, I, was, I think I was just curious, like... You know when you see everyone chatting about something and you think, yeah. like, them, there's too many people loving this game for me not to be able to at least see why people love it. Like, mm-hmm. and it wasn't just, you know, oh, I'm really enjoying this, you know, like Skyrim and stuff. This was like, no, this is the best game of the generation. This is one of the best games of all time. Mm-hmm. So I knew, like, and I kind of, like, missed it. And then when you hear people talking about it, like, some of the stuff they say, you just kind of think, wow. That sounds incredible, um, but uh, you know. And although I agree, agree with them now, it took me f- a fucking long time to get <laughs> to get there. Mm. <laughs> it really see, makes you hate it straight away. See, the thing is, is see, I'm I'm quite a fan of these kind of games because I've I've played like like I said like Daggerfall and I played like you know Oblivion and Skyrim and all that kind of thing and I like them a lot. But this so far, I've got problems already because you get knocked back by that. Ball. And then also, when do I get an actual weapon rather than you start like what? with a weapon, don't you? Yeah, but it's like half a sword or something. Yeah, but you, by now I think you should have 
Are you fighting enemies and it? it's like taking ages to kill them? Yes, it's taking. Yeah, you've like- you've already got a sword. You, you you need to go into your inventory and I made that mistake. I I I made that mistake. Like I was trying to hack away at some dude and I was like, this isn't hard. It's just dull. Like yeah. I'm not dying. I'm, it's just taking me ages to kill anything. But yeah, you've you've got a long sword. I think it is in your inventory. Do you, um, do you pick that up or is yeah, that? Yeah, you do. Yeah, but but you've oh. probably already picked it up without knowing because well, I had a look in the inventory and I couldn't see it. What under Maybe weapons? I, yeah. See, I would have a look now, but I can't because my three sixty is so loud that we can't. I can't leave it on at yeah. the moment. So, okay, yeah, maybe I need to go back and need to see if I can equip a weapon. Yeah, it's you taking... know, you know when you see that like the corpses on the floor and there's like um, there's there's like a ball of light. Uh, like there's a ball of light there. I think it's light. You can pick stuff up, and you just press A, and it tells you what you've picked up. Mm-hmm. So you probably need to just have a little hunt around, go back to where you've been and have a little hunt around for, for something to pick up because one of them's got like a decent sword and, and yeah, it, all of a sudden you're like, oh yeah, I get it now. I'm not actually <laughs> supposed to be hacking away at this guy with half a sword. Yeah, because I, I need a weapon because what I've got at the moment is ridiculous. It's too, And then what happened was I got up to the top, I killed like a whole bunch of those things which took ages. Yeah, bet. And then, Fucking hell, James. And then I went past one of those archer who fires the slowest moving arrows I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I mean, they're like, <laughs> have you seen those? Do you remember what they're like? I don't. They like they like sort of slowly glide through the air. It looks really weird. <laughs> it looks really. Weird. It looks. It reminds me of. Um, do you remember on ITV there was that series Nightmare? <laughs> oh, this game screams Nightmare. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it really screams... reminds me of that. Have you and been through was... any fog gates yet? Yes, I've been yeah, through. Yeah. Yeah, but that that is just pure nightmare. Like <laughs> from the sound effects straight through to the you know the character, the way the characters dressed and everything. Yeah, it's fucking spell cast. So I got to like up to there, and then there's this one guy who seems a bit better than the other ones. He's got like a sword and a shield, and then so I'm hacking away at him, but then he keeps healing himself with like potions. Yeah, he's got Estus like, flask, but you you've got an Estus flask. Cause I know because well, I was like two can play at that game. I'm doing it as well. <laughs> But then, <laughs> but, then it's like, the... but it's still taking ages, you know, like to do it. And then I died because he, he got a lucky hit in. And then I was like, this is why I need a weapon. And that's why I called you because I'm like, this is must be. Wow. See, uh, I mean, yeah, I'm I mean did, did, see, see the bit. Yeah, but I know. But the, the, you see the bit that you're stuck on. Mm. I mean, I guess I was just fortunate enough to have picked up that broadsword. But I think it's pretty obvious where you pick it up or whatever it's called. Longsword or whatever it is. Mm. Um. Yeah, I, I'm really surprised you haven't got it. I think, I think actually, I think I did get it before, but then Xbox Live crashed for me, and then I lost where I was up to. If you said me, oh, and you started again. But yeah, and you probably I, didn't run around picking shit up like you did the it, first. It time. didn't save. I think it didn't save. Like um, after I picked it up, because I'm pretty certain. Because I remember trying to equip it before, and uh, that must be what happened. So maybe I need to. Then when I started again, maybe I just made a mistake. But this is the thing. Back. This is going to happen a lot, James. There's going to be bits where you, you're going to get stuck mm. and you're going to think, oh, for fuck's sake, this is stupid. Everyone gets stuck on those little bits. It's, it's you know, it's all part of the learning thing. You know, what what that's trying to teach you, which is, I know, such an apologist way of looking at it, but, um, and you're right to be angry at it because I thought that the whole intro bit was shit as well but i think part of the game is is going through the shit to then start enjoying it if you know what i mean mm. i just which is i know it's a, it sounds like such a bullshit excuse like but um but that's genuinely what what it is and yeah mm. see when i was having the trouble with killing them i was like i thought okay let's try running away but that don't work because then they just chase after you and then you get cornered and there's loads of them and then you you get you have died. <laughs> how many died have you di- how many times have you died already oh, about four times which That's is ridiculous because this is like right at the beginning and, <laughs> it doesn't uh, yeah. matter it doesn't matter like it, it's it's not like you can go on past experiences with other games because this is you know you, 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 maybe if you played demon souls then you'd be all right but i i hadn't played that and i mm. died constantly as well you know the first time i played this game i didn't even get out of that tutorial area the mm-hmm. um what's it called the undead asylum yeah, that's right. So, yeah, it, it, it takes a while while to get there. Um, right, so what I need to do next is I need to make sure I've definitely got a proper sword. 
and then press on, yeah? Yeah, I mean, you you really should find that sword because, like, you can't, you you know, you, you're just going to spend your time just hacking away at nothing. It's pointless. Just Well, you see, I went through one of those white gate things and then I landed where there was a boss. And I'm like, I've got half a sword here. And uh, then I was right. hit. Yeah, I was dying got two hits. And that was yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you? What happened when you went through the tunnel? <laughs> what happened when you were you on the balcony, right? Or were yeah. you on the were you on the balcony, was, or did you run was, straight ahead? No, I ran. I was on the balcony, I think. Yeah, and then it opens, and then there's a. It's there, and uh, oh right, no, no, no. So you open up two doors, and he was right in front of you. Yep. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I can tell you this. Um, did don't fight him then. You're not ready to fight him then. Even with a half decent sword, you, you're not ready to fight that guy at that point. Okay. Um, run left. There's a little door on the left hand side. You should go. Oh, hang on, hang on. I did that already, though. I've already run past him doing that. So what are you saying? So I'm not sure. That may have been before. <laughs> oh, I'm really confused. I need to go back and and try it again. <laughs> is uh, this the uh, first time you've seen him on the second? Uh, it's the second, but this is the second. No, wait a minute. Yeah, it's the second time. It's definitely the second time I've seen. Right. Him. Okay. So you you go through the fog gate and you're on the top of the balcony. Yeah, that's right. And did he attack you from? <laughs> did you do that thing that everyone does where they stand there going, "Okay, what's going on out here?" And all of a sudden, yep. the balcony collapses and yeah, yeah, that's yeah. exactly what happened. Read. There's a. Um, uh, have you been reading the little notes on the floor? Yeah, yeah. Read one just before you go through that. It, it tells you how to drop attack, and it'll really help you out with that battle. But that, no, that's not too bad then. So you're, you're basically you're really. Near the end of the um, the tutorial area, that's the last thing you need to do before you get into the main. Without a um, sword. Yeah, get that sword. <laughs> okay, okay. Get that sword, because otherwise that battle is going to be fucking impossible. Ugh. So hang on. Also, the other thing I want to know about this is: does your character like level up and stuff? Yeah. Is that how this works? Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, the more whenever you kill enemies you you get souls and um when you get back to the bonfire you can spend those souls on um on leveling up your character um and if you die you lose all the souls you have in your possession and mm-hmm. the only way to get them back is for the next life to pick up the souls on the floor where you die yeah yeah i saw that it's like a green like yeah, yeah, yeah. puddle on yeah, the ground it's like or whatever. a retrieval yeah. thing and and um, if you die the second time, then all those souls are lost forever. So there's a sort of risk mm-hmm. there of going back to get your souls. I mean, it's not too bad at the start because leveling up's really cheap, and and uh, the enemies don't give you much souls anyway. But like later on, like it can be a real fucking ball lake. You lose like a, a ton of souls just by doing something stupid, like going to try and receive them, uh, retrieve them. Yeah, it's mad. So. Okay, the other question I've got with this is what kind of time commitment am I looking at with this? Fuck. Um, <laughs> well, it depends. Like, I mean, as I said, I'm not a brilliant game. I like, but it took me, I think it was around 60 hours to complete. But it was one of those games where when I got to the end, I probably could have done more. Do you know mm-hmm. what I mean? It's not like it's got side quests or anything like that. I mean, it has, but they're all hidden. Um, but it's not like... You get to the end and you're like, oh, there's all this stuff that I could have done because it's probably not. Mm. Um, I mean, there are like optional areas and stuff like that, but you tend to stumble on them anyway. Um, But yeah, I mean, once I finished it, I went back. The crazy thing was, right, and this, I don't know if this will, you know, give you a glimpse into what can happen. The first time I did the first main area, like once you get to the the main uh, sort of place, it took me roughly about four or five hours to beat, like to get to the end of the, the, the main boss of that area. Mm -hmm. Um, They're called the gargoyles and it it took me about, you know, maybe four hours to, to defeat them. And, um, and then when I booted it up, the moment I'd finished, it took me about, 20 minutes if that because the the whole idea is that you're like constantly learning how enemies work and Mm -hmm. and once you understand how enemies work you can take them down like fucking easily it's really 
Yeah. So this really is really like a, once you figure out the um, like the mechanics kind of thing, then it, it clicks. Yeah, kind of. And and you'll still be learning mechanics like for a long, long time. But uh, because like you use different little things to take down different it enemies if you know what i mean mm-hmm. and every, like and then you start like piecing that all together and taking down bigger enemies that that you know I, it's, it's weird i the thing is i can sit here and tell you stuff that you've heard a billion times from worse people well i've <laughs> mostly heard that it, it's really hard you know that's what i usually hear so <laughs> so what are you gonna do when you when are you gonna play it next uh well i'm gonna i need to go in a minute because i've got to i've got to play gears of war in a moment um do. Who doesn't yeah. need to play Gears of War? Yeah, well, you know... It's fucking years after the last one come out. It's Judgment. We haven't played that, so, you know, it's uh, <laughs> it's Friday night. It's Friday night. <laughs> All right, then, mate. Well, um, uh, let, me know, let me know if you need to talk to me again. Yeah, no, I will. I will. I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to push on with this, because I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to see how this pans out. You've just out. got to be determined because it, you will hate it. I mean, I've I've got Time Hop on my phone and it was about this time last year that I proper started giving Dark Souls a go. And I'm looking at my tweets on it and it is just like, you know, they're making me laugh. Like, I'm just, you know, fucking moaning and moaning and moaning and saying about how shit it is. Um, but but mm-hmm. it wasn't until, you know, I got through the first area that I thought, okay, there's something in this. Something in this. And then I just went on some mad blitz with it. Just fucking pushed right through. It was mad. All right, well, we'll see. (laughs) We'll see. (laughs) We'll see. But, yeah, I'll I'll push on with it, and then yeah, I'll call you again soon when I inevitably get stuck, which is probably going to (laughs) happen. All right, mate. Well, um, I'll speak to you soon, yeah? All right, see you. All right, take it back. (laughs)